Applying matrices. Okay, probably one of the harder things that we're going to do in a while. Okay, yep. And mostly it's just confusing. Okay, so it's going to be super important today to really do these with us. Okay, so the first thing we need to talk about is dimensions. Because there's some dimensions that we can multiply together and some that we can't. Okay, so number one, what are my dimensions? Two by three. Two by three. Number two is a. It's a what? Two by one. Two by one. Because there's two rows. How about three? Four by two. Four by two. And number four. One by four. Good. Never mind. All right, so in order to be able to multiply matrices, our, they don't have to be the same, okay? but our inside dimensions have to be the same. Okay? So can I multiply, I can multiply a 2 by 3 and a 3 by 4 because those 3's on the inside are the same. Okay? And what we end up getting is going to be a 2 by 4. Okay, our outsides are what we're going to end up getting. Okay, so if I multiply a 2 by 4, which is going to look like I would okay. times a 3 by 4, which is 1, 8, I'm just making up numbers right now. Okay. See how different those look? Okay. But this one's a 2 by 4, and this one's a 3 by 4. Are my inside numbers the same? So these cannot be multiplied. Like I said, I just made up numbers almost so that we can look at it. Okay? This is what we are mostly going to concentrate on. Two by two times a two by two. Inside numbers, are they multipliable? Yep, because our inside numbers are the same. And our answer is going to be a 2 by 2 because those are our outside numbers. Yep, then they're multipliable. Okay? All right. So 2 and 3, I get 6. 
And then second numbers I get, no, six. So plus six goes there. Okay, so now this spot right here is bottom row, right? First column. First numbers I get 16 plus second numbers 9. Okay, and then this spot. Bottom row, second column, right? So first numbers, 12, plus second numbers, 6. Okay, now we got to add them up. Okay, now I am not capable, well I am capable, but it's very hard for me to not show this step. So I am expecting everybody to show this step. Okay, so what do we get there? 17. What do we get over here? 12, 25, and 18. This guy is my answer. Huh? Not too bad. It's mostly just confusing and a little bit tedious. Okay, because you got to make sure that you're multiplying the correct numbers. Okay. All right, so let's do number one here. Okay, top row, first call. First numbers, zero, plus second numbers, six. Two times three. Those are our second numbers. Okay, yep. First row, second column, zero plus zero. Good. Okay, now we're on second row, first column, first numbers, negative 12 plus. Second numbers, negative 15. And second row, second column, 12 plus 0. It's really nice when there's zeros in there somewhere because it makes life a lot easier. So up here, top left, top right, bottom left. 27 and bottom right. 12. 12. There is our matrix. Why is the example hard to get in Hmm? The example is hard to get in This example? Yeah, because it's out of the first one's always the harder one. Alright. On the bottom or on the back side somewhere, okay, because like I said, we're going to concentrate on two by twos. We're going to do another one and then I'm going to let you do some working. So make sure that we're asking questions if we're still confused. I'm going negative 7, negative 2, 4 times negative 3, 6, negative 8. And nine. Huh? Who? What? Yeah. We're yeah. What? We're gonna do this instead right now. Should we do it? Definitely. Yes. Should be writing this down. In the bottom of your paper or on the back side or somewhere. All right. Top row. First call. Negative 15 plus, yep, down here, negative 56. Okay, so now it's 
top row, second column, first numbers, 30, plus second numbers, use your calculator, 63, okay, second row, first column, first number, Six plus second numbers. What? 32. Negative thirty-two. <laughs> you can't even, yeah, exactly. It's a Tuesday. Okay. So first numbers. Negative twelve. Plus second number. 36. 36. Questions where we got those numbers from? Yes. This one? So we were on the first row, first column. So 7 times negative 8. Okay? Alright, so now we've got to put them together. Negative 15 plus negative 56. Negative 71. Ninety-three. Negative twenty-six. Negative twenty-six and okay. I actually think these are kind of fun. Once you get going and you're like can find that pattern, there it's not quite as bad, is it? No? Maybe? Sorry. 